Welcome Chillins, painter and decorator of the interweb, Phil Beckwith, your professional painter and decorator. Um, many thanks, got some nice subscribers coming through. We're into um, October and um, we're not far off 3,000 subscribers so I'll say thank you very much. The channel's only been going since a year last January. Um, started in uh, what? Well, early January of 2021. We've done quite well, not got the Porsche yet but I'm quite liking doing these videos for you. Right, previous weeks, you've probably seen past weeks, I've been testing some Dulux paints. Um, I've also been testing out, if you look over my shoulder there, I've been testing quite a few water-based products out. Um, cut a long story short, manufacturers have been in touch with me, reps, um, like the videos that I've been doing on other brands of paint, and have uh, given me a shout um, to say, oh, Phil, do you want to try some of ours? So, over the last few weeks, I've had a few Dulux paints and we've had um, Scuffex from Benjamin Moore, so thank you very much to them. It's much appreciated. I know I've probably slated the, oh, sorry, the uh, Dulux Trade Diamond um, satin, I wasn't too, um, too impressed or pleased with that, and also the quick drying satin wood. It's not my thing, sorry. Not, not everybody likes um, certain paints and I'm giving you a, a true opinion of what I'm thinking. But I'm going to say the, the, the saying that I normally come out with, true to my word, I'm back reviewing some more paints from Dulux. Thank you very much. No sponsorship, no money's changed hands. It's more of a case just some sample um, paint vouchers. Excuse me. Sample paint vouchers have been sent to me just to try these paints out to compare um, their paints compared to the other paints that have been trying out. I've tried Isomat, which I really like. The Benjamin Moore, I'm well impressed with. Even the Bed X, I'm liking as well. Tickerillas, you know what I've said about Tickerilla. Um, struggling covering with the whites. That's why I'm doing these videos using white paints. And doors and backgrounds that are slightly darker so we can see what they like for two coats. But no, I'm back with this video. This is the quick drying Dulux Trade um, gloss, which great, we want to try that out. But there's also the undercoat. So there's the quick drying undercoat, which is labeled up as a number one. And then the gloss is labeled up as a number two. So it's the process of one and then two. Follows on, doesn't it? The idea is you put one undercoat on, then two top coats. Sometimes you might find you don't need two top coats. It'll depend on the surfaces that you're going over. That's for you to suss out or ask me if you're a bit confused. Comments, love comments. Smash that bell and the like button. But here we are today. First, first off, my big gripe. I've got the I've got my little sample table. If you want to know about that, pasting table, stroke picnic table. Right, quick drying undercoat. I'm on a negative already. Look at this, recoat time, four to five hours. So I'm gonna coat this up for you. I'm gonna section it off like I did with the ones underneath. Section it off, get this undercoated. I'm gonna leave it as long as I can before I start putting any gloss on. So it could be four to five hours, then we'll get a gloss on and see what it's like. So um, let's not make this a big video. I'm gonna crack on, see what I think of this. Hope it's better than the other two that I tried out. Right, going back to my old faithful, the Wix brush. Um, uh, 11 quid for a three brush pack, inch, inch and a half, two inch. I'm gonna do this panel there. If you wanna know about painting the door properly, I've got a video there. We do it a bit tongue in cheek, but there is a serious element that there is a process to painting the door correctly. I've said to you times many, if you've watched this channel, I have been to college. I have done my advanced craft city and gills. I know everything. But I have also done teaching at college as well. I did three years part time, so not a long time, but it um, gives me a bit of experience. And I've been in the trade now ooh, 32 years, so I'd like to say I do know what I'm on about. What was I saying? Right, I'm painting this door for you. I had to look then whether I'm using the undercoat or the gloss. 
it's um, got a funny feel to it. It's got a funny smell to it. Um, I've smelt it before. It'll come to me. I've smelt this paint. I've smelt this sort of paint smell before. Can't think where. Not gone on too bad. Bit grinny. We'll see what it's like, but that's going to have four to five hours drying. If I can get a coat on today, later on this afternoon, I will do. If not, I won't do. But I've got a panel there. I've got some more paint to test out for future videos. So you might see a future video. I'm wearing the same clothes, same hairstyle, same position. I'm going to start coating that up because that is another one that's going to be um, a few hours between coats. So let's kill two birds with one stone. That'll be another video. So, um, right, I'll see you later on. Right, you know what I was saying yesterday? Because it is yesterday, I've come back day after. Quick drying undercoat. Do you know what the key word is on there? Quick drying or quick dry, right? Quick dry. Recoat four to five hours. Well, I did that yesterday. That side did that yesterday, giving it, well, it's had 24 hours. So I'm going to give it the gloss coat now, which this is another quick dry. Yeah, you're laughing as well, aren't you? Because on the back, recoat, four to six hours. Mental. That is mental. Well, anyway, we're going to see how good this gloss is on this side. You may have or may not have seen that side that I'm doing, which is the heritage paint. Because while we've got a door on the go, I'm doing killing two birds with one stone. Let's get this gloss coated up, see what it's like. But again, we're going to let this go 24 hours so it's had a chance to dry and harden off. See what it covers like over that, you know, that mushroomy, creamy, buff colour. We'll see what it's like and we'll give it two coats of gloss so we can see how good the gloss is. And is it as good as what my, um, well, the paint you can't buy anymore, Sickens BL? We'll see. Keeping with an arrow worthy brush on this. It's got that smell again. Can't wait up, can't wait up what that smell is. Seems very thin. I'll give you my initial thoughts. We've got the quick drying undercoat. Ooh, just seen a heron fly over. Oh, that's probably after me fish in my pond. 
first initial thoughts that went didn't go on too bad it felt like a an oily an oily gloss it felt an oily gloss it's not an oily gloss because it's water-based but I'm going to use the word it lacks body if you know what I mean if you're in the trade and you know what I mean it lacks body it just lacks that bit of, bit of something that gives it body that it's going to cover and this is why I'm testing white paints I'm going to bring you in on this it's not dried yet the gloss so far I know it's wet so it looks glossy it looks a nice gloss that to me looks as good and if you look over my shoulder there yeah it's my left shoulder if you look over my shoulder Jono's that that gloss that we've tried in that video is a really good gloss that to me what I can see there looks really shiny in a proper good gloss right let's try and bring it probably can't see it we'll wait till it's dry and we'll do that but what I don't like with this is when you're doing a door properly another video there isn't there of doing a door properly you do your mouldings these are your mouldings and the panel then you come to the well if these were styles and rails and bits and pieces you saw how I did it now where your brush comes back down and you might get some bristles just catching what you've already done it pulls it off now these edges these molded edges are really grinning through where the brush where the brush brush bristles have caught it and I'll give you an example it's just down these moldings there the paint lacks body to get coverage on moldings if you know what Aris edges are rounded Aris edges on wood it's grinning through on the highlighted reliefs I don't like that and it's there the moldings that hasn't gone for one coat of gloss it's going to need two so let's do a second coat tomorrow and then pass judgment on it when it's all dry but so far I can't say so far so good because I'll sit I'm sitting on the fence I'm sitting on the fence sorry. see you on the next one Another day, another dollar. Right, round two. Second coat of the gloss. I've left it a day, so I've come back easily 24 hours later, so it's had plenty of time after that six hour, that six hour recoat time. It's dry, and first initial impressions, that's a really good gloss. Even, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it, the brush killer gloss it's on a par I would say that's on a par with a gloss that you think was oil like the Jono's over the left shoulder but let's see what it's like for that second coat it hasn't covered it's grinny on these molding edges and naturally across across the flats it's a bit see-through as well it's see through -y. Let's give it that second one. Right, we've got the second coat on. It's not as e it's not an easy coat of um, paint to apply, if I'm honest. You can get it on. I don't want to say it's like putting an oil-based paint on, but it pulls. Even though that had had 24 hours to dry, it still pulled. 
Still got that smell. I can't work while that smell is out. But anyway, gloss I will give very good. The opacity of the white, it's just not there for me. It's not got that body. Those who know what I mean, I mean the body. The opacity, it's almost there. You'll probably find if you're going white over whites, you're on a winner. It's, it's cheating. But we've got that buffy colour. And that's now our three coats. And I'm looking at these mouldings. And this door, Doris the door, is one of those textured wood grain doors. So it's not a flat panel. And even looking at the, the wood grain. I'm actually saying the opacity stroke coverage, getting it to cover, the, the opacity is grinning. That's how we describe it. We, we're grinning with it. Can I get you to focus? No. You just have to take my word on that. It's, it's not the best coverage opacity that I've seen in a paint. I reckon that Jono's, the brush killer, would have covered better for an undercoat and two top coats gloss. But the only thing it's got going for it is the gloss. It is a very good gloss. But other than that, are you using it? What do you think to it? Have you tried other paints? Because I've said it before with some of these Dulux, I won't be I won't be rushing back to take it off the shelf to use it as a and I do hate the word go to, but as my day-to-day -day paint I won't be wanting to use that thinking that it's gonna give me the best results. I think there's better paints out there. Other than the gloss, and the brushes wash out nicely. No problem with the washing the brushes out, water-based. I'm not that keen, not that keen. I have to say it, not that keen. On that note, might be some videos there for you. Please watch, subscribe. I feel I've been a bit negative about the Dulux paints recently, but I can only give you my honest opinion of trying it out. And this is only trying it on a section. I'd be pulling my hair out if I'd got the full door to do, or if I'd got a room to do, because looking at these moulding edges there, they're not covered. And that's with a lovely brush as well, so you can't even say that the brush isn't very good. Let's click them videos there. Thanks very much. Thanks for listening. See you on the next one.